Hi, this is Aaron with Lock and Lube, and a question we commonly get is how do our Lock and Lube grease guns stack up against a budget big box store grease gun like one of these? So first we're gonna see this grease gun uses a tab system as compared to our pull out lock off feature. Next thing, we're gonna knock the head off. Let's see that this is a brand new grease gun that we picked up. Now, let's drop a tube of grease in it. Remove black cap, open end down, solid seat, use our cap, pop our top, save the black cap. We're gonna throw our head back on the unit. This might be a little fiddly with this gun. There we go. Now, we've got this tab to kind of deal with. <clears throat> Ow. So the tab doesn't really hold this very well. Um, so now we're gonna see if we can get this primed. I got a little bit on my roll too. We have a small steady stream coming out. I think that'll be enough. Uh, got something going on with this handle. Um, so we're gonna go out to the warehouse. We're gonna test this and we're gonna see how this stacks up against our premium products. So we're out in the warehouse. First problem we run into was um, at some point, somebody has obviously broke this circ fitting off. We've all run into this before and they have replaced it with whatever they have. So we have a 90 degree zerk fitting um, that is pointing directly at the wheel. Uh, we are going to be unable to actually get this grease gun physically on this. But uh, while we're here, before we go to the other side, we're gonna make sure that we actually grease this. We're going to use our L&L 153. We're gonna unlock our grease coupler. We're gonna put it on the zerk, give it a couple wiggles, and we're actually gonna pump grease into it. I've got some grease coming out on the back side, and go ahead and disconnect. We're gonna put our grease coupler back on storage, and we're gonna to go to the other side. Um, I do know that we can get uh, this actually on here, so clean our Zerk fittings off. We're going to attach this grease gun to here, we're gonna push on. Okay, all right, so start. Uh, so we're having a little bit of grease that's actually bypassing here. I can tighten this up later. Um, and then removing the Zerk fitting, or remo removing the grease coupler from the Zerk fitting. Um, <clears throat> um, and that's what we all experience uh, when using a, a grease gun is, is trying to get this adjusted to a point that it's easy to put on, it doesn't leak when we use it. Um, and then having to physically pull it off or the age old pry it off. Is it going? It's going. Hi, so Aaron here with Lock and Lube and today we're gonna to talk about the L&L 143. While using the off-brand grease gun, I have pulled my Zerk fitting completely out of our machine. We're gonna pop our kit open and we need to clean up the hole uh, where the threads have pulled out and then we're gonna chase the threads um, with one of the included tools. And we're gonna clean the threads out really good and then we're gonna reinstall a Zerk fitting. We have our Zerk fitting that actually I pulled out of the machine. We're gonna use our lock and loop thread tester. I know that it's 1 8th, but we always like to double check and make sure. The threads are a little boogered on this, but so it does screw into the 1 8th spot. We're gonna use our tool, chase the thread to make sure they're good and clean. What, is it not a 1 8th? Is that running? So uh, previously, whoever installed the Zerk fittings um, didn't do this properly, so we're having to go through a couple metrics first. That's way too small. And then we're gonna go with a 2109, which is a 10 millimeter Zerk fitting. Now it looks to be that it's gonna be the right size. So let's get this snugged up and get this piece of equipment greased.
that running. So using the off-brand grease gun, we have had to go through and actually retap the threads um, so we can get more of a bite on it. Um, the lock and lube grease coupler being able to lock on to your actual fitting and then having the ability to easily take it back off keeps any kind of side load, any kind of side pressure, anything like that from actually pulling on the threads of your Zerk fitting and potentially damaging them. We've spent a lot of time working, trying to get this fixed and get it back, um, back in service. Um, it still does need grease. So we're gonna use our lock and loop grease coupler to attach. Fitting's taking grease, perfect. And easily disconnect. Gonna lock our grease coupler, store it. So thank you all for following along. Uh, off-brand grease gun versus our l and 153 and kind of the process and frustration that, that everyday users have and why our main goal is to end greasing frustration. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit lockandlube.com.